We are in Germany in the middle of a Kumne meditation retreat and the location is a Franciscan order which gives it a nice atmosphere for us to do our Kumne meditation. Kumne meditation is an application of Tartan Tulko Rinpoche's Kumne teachings. So everybody is interested in meditation these days, or not everybody, but more and more people are interested in meditating and it's not so easy to do it. Usually meditating is focused on mind, thoughts and breathing especially, but in Kumne meditation we focus on the body and feeling and breathing. So we introduce mind into the body. So instead of being captivated by thoughts, we ask the mind, can you pay attention to what's going on inside? And the mind is curious, mind goes in, and what it experiences there after we do some movements, some postures, some movements going up and down or going like this, the inner experience begins to loosen up a little bit. And that's why you can use this for stress reduction because you get calmer and a little bit more relaxed. But these feelings that are coming up means actually your inner experience begins to flow and everything moves, so the energy begins to flow. And when we pay attention to that moving of the feeling, stay with the feeling. That's the first step. And the second step is become aware of the breath. That's also mindfulness of breath. So mindfulness of body is number one. Mindfulness of feeling is number two. And now mindfulness of breathing. So there's a feeling, usually it's here when you just begin. Later on, it's in the whole body and all the chakras. And then you become aware of the breath and you place it on top of the feeling. And there's a rhythm to it. Feelings move, breathing expands and condenses. So there's a feeling experience. There's breathing on top. You pay attention to it. Of course, once in a while there's a thought. Doesn't matter. Just bring back to the feeling experience. On your next exhale, the feeling and the breath leave. They leave the body and they go into space. And at some point, they come to stillness because everything moves to stillness. So the feeling moves to stillness, the exhale moves to stillness, and by now you are in stillness. I mean, when you stay there and you enter the stillness, you begin to meditate. Now, once you stay with that experience, it will change because everything is moving, subject to change. So when you stay with the stillness, and Rinpoche wrote a wonderful chapter on perfect stillness. It's chapter 49 in Challenging Journey. Four or five pages about stillness. So if you stay with the stillness, you stay in the stillness, it begins to open up and it will ripple. So you can stay with the opening, you can enter the opening, or you can go with the waves, the ripples that go out, and you stay right there where the ripple ends. And you start again. You stay, it will open, it will ripple. So whenever you go in or you follow the ripple, you're meditating. So in the process you calm down, but something inside wakes up. Uh, now comes the exciting part. Everybody wants to become calm and think that's meditating. It's true. Now, people say, well, I also want to become clear. Eh? The openness that is emerging has a, will begin to have a kind of brightness to it. But that's the first two steps, eh? calmness, clarity. Now comes the interesting part, is when we're in this openness, when we're in this stillness, something may show up. Something speaks itself forward. And that's the voice of your being the communicating of your nature. And our teachings it's called inner knowingness. So that's very interesting because whatever comes up is now not a mental construct, some kind of thinking about something. It comes from within. I'm doing this, but it is not necessarily from here. Something shows up. Something comes forward. And you want to look because now you are communicating with the voice of your being. That's the goal, inner knowingness. Thank you very much.